Greetings and welcome to my World of Tanks video. What's new Tuesday? This is January 24, 2023. Now what you see here is one of the things that's new on Tuesday. And that is this Tier 5 Japanese Chinukai. Whoa, let's go back to here. All right. This is one of the special sales that I'm going to show you. Now, I showed you the tank because, like an idiot, I bought it before I made this video. Well, I would normally rather show you the tank in the store. I did make a quick video of that with the remembrance that I could record the like the last minute of you know whatever I had done this is the tank I like those gold plaques with the tanks on them they just look fantastic so this one and i'm going to show you the special sales but this one comes up the first of the special sales and it's a 50 percent off bargain but that's a super bargain because i'm going to show you why this one comes up for sale 925 gold it was so tempting, and then I looked into it, and then I realized why it would be good. I was looking for some reason for it to be a good tank, and this is the answer right here. It's all pretty average, which is fine. Nothing spectacular. Cheap price, though, 925 gold. But then look at this. Now, it has a five-second reload, which means we're going to knock this dude down substantially. Probably down to four seconds, actually. Gun accuracy is stock 0.37, which will knock that down, and which improves the accuracy. That'll be good, too. But go down here. Silver bonus, 50%. Now, a lot of tanks have 50% silver bonus. But this one also has a 45% tank bonus. So if you're running a contract like, oh, I don't know, the centrifuge, cha-ching, this tank will be phenomenal for running the centrifuge because you're going to make money and you're also going to make extra bonus tank experience so this is going to be very helpful in that regard so i'm a you know always looking for the bargains and this tank is a bargain and then some Here we have the news. What's happening this week, which is this week. And now we're going to cover what is new on Tuesday. Okay, this is just the basic stuff. Premium tech tree adjustments, that doesn't really matter. Challenges and events, always useful. All right, there's your premium tech tree. They're going to get rid of more stuff from the tech tree to turn them into black box tanks, which makes them hard to get. So if you want to look at the tech tree for the tanks that are uh, being uh, altered or removed, I'll show it to you, I guess. I'll look at it right here. I don't think it's a big deal in general, but it might be a big deal to somebody. So these are tanks that are going to disappear or not disappear. The option to buy them directly from that grid is going to be gone. They'll be black boxes. So you have stuff like T95E2, TL1 LPC, M48A2 Patton, T42. That was a that's a good tank. The T77, I have that. That is a three-shot heavy tank auto loader t54 e2 um 
forgot what tank that is. Well, we can just look and see. I think I know which one this is. Okay, I, I guess I don't. That tank's a 10,000 gold tank. Definitely a butt kicker, as you would, as you could see. And the reason is these tanks just don't sell very well in general. They're much more interesting as a, you know, uh, random sale or what have you. Russian, what do we have here? K91 version 2, I have that tank. That was the tank I got from the operation where we had a choice of the, the, the K91 version 2, the T42, or the CS52 LIS. The best of those tanks was the K91 version 2, but the T42 is right there. It was kind of a tomato tomato. IS-5, KV-4, I don't know that version, but uh, Object 252, what is this, that is the uh, Kirovets 1, that's a killer SU-130 PM sniper, and the ISU-152K is another butt kicker. The Panther with 88 millimeter or 8.8 .8 centimeters. So it's a it's a Panther with an 88 millimeter. M48A2 Round Panzer. Gotcha. That's the one with the uh, bulldozer scoop. The E75TS and the 8.8. .8 centimeter or 88 millimeter pack 43 yog tiger british we have what atomic centurion the centurion mark 5-1 charlemagne g soar vindicator charioteer what is the other one this one uh oh that's the heavy metal heroes hmh FV-305, that is the short-range Tier 8 howitzer that was on sale last week. France are getting rid of what? Panhard EBR-75, the Wheelie light tank, and the Batchat uh, Barosk, which was tank of the month a couple of months ago. I got that. Tremendous. M41D from China. I got that randomly from a card. Sweden is the Lansen C... The Poland CS-52 LIS, I already mentioned that was one of the tanks. That one, the T-42, and that Russian K-91 version 2. Those were all from that operation that we got. The 50TP, Italy is the Bisonte C-45. And Mercenaries, the Turtle, the Trinity Mark II, and the Brick. So, whatever that, what does the Brick go for? I'm just curious. I've seen the brick, and it looks like it's covered in bricks. That is a 12,900 gold tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the, the stuff that's going away. Well, not going away. Remember, it's turning into black boxes. So it'll be randomly available, okay? Not that big of a deal, but I thought I'd mention, let you see it. This is just, what is this? Challenges and events. This is the uh, the, the uh, what do you call it? The tier uh, tree for those British medium Chinese tank destroyer and German tank destroyer. The Stug all the way up through to the Jagdpanzer. That's the one I, well, I didn't do the Ferdinand, but you know, I got, the, I had the other ones. I'm on the Yog Tiger Tier 9. Special sales. These are the special sales. Well, continued tank of the month. Tier 8 American T92 Falcon. If you don't have one of these tanks, uh, Tier 8, if you don't have a Tier 8 light tank, it's very good. 
in I have it in my opinion hard to beat this tank for 10 bucks I mean that's a tremendous deal the only one that I say is really that you could say is demonstrably better than this one would be the T41 E1 American with a 10 shot auto loader so other than that the T92 Falcon is fantastic and you're not going to beat that deal you can get the T41 E1 if you're interested in doing that but it's going to cost you more just that simple so for the for the price and if you don't know it tells you right there you get 850 gold as well plus you get a week of uh premium i'm sorry three days of premium not my my mistake and 10 1.5 silver boosters fantastic it is an absolute tank of the month this is a bargain and a half okay it went to the store and bought 850 gold they charge you five dollars for it so you can't go wrong i'm just telling you all right now let's go back down weekly sales hello you know just uh what do you call it commander and vehicle boosters you can buy packs of those which is very good and useful weekly deal ragnarok t34 100 a czechoslovakian uh what do you call it customization escalation scouts we have oh those are two good tanks rapid deployment force light tank and also the object 934 the object 934 has rockets uh, that's its big claim to fame really um the rdf lt is a six shot auto loader and it's almost not identical but so close to the gi joe molar but i have that light tank and the six shot autoloader only has like an 8.8 .8 second um reload for the entire magazine very very good if you if you know if you want a light tank autoloader jackpot um you know like i said those are half price so it's one of those things that those are very good tanks I'm not a big rocket tank guy, but if I was, I'd get that Object 934. I have the RDF, and it's really good. The RDF has, I think, a 60% silver bonus. So that's something to consider. I don't know the silver bonus of the Object 934, but it's probably good. Central Sharpshooters, Czechoslovakia, and Skoda, and the... That's the uh, German Schmaltturm medium tank. You know, pretty good stuff. That's in, that's in the, um, the store you can find it easily. Now, here's the dealio. This is what I was showing you because I showed you the Japanese tank. Japanese tier 5, you know, type 3 Chinukai. That's the one I bought. Dirt cheap, 925. I've already bought it. And once you own the tank... Of any of these uh, three offers it won't show up in your store to be seen I don't know why but this is tremendous so this is I wanted to show you these are, these are what's coming up you'll see this one first the Japanese the second one that comes up will be the German tier 4 Panzerkampfwagen B2 I have that tank it is a heavy tank tier 4 and its main claim to fame is that it's always top dog. Now, it's not really fast. It goes, what, you know, a 28 to 30 kilometers per hour. It has a decent gun, not great. Fast re reload, though. Big armor. But its best part is when you play a Panzer B2, Bamo, you're in a Tier 4 match, and that's it. And you're top dog essentially now you got to watch out of course for the other guys you know the other tier four mediums or tank destroyers that could kill your tank but you're never going to be outgunned by a tier five heavy that's its awesomeness 
and it's really a good tank. It's you know it's one of those things you'd say that it's about a it's about an eight out of ten for a tier four heavy tank. It's really good. This will be dirt cheap. That tank is not expensive. Uh, it's self. In fact, I don't know. You know, let's just go look and see. I don't know on half price what this is going to be, but it's going to be cheap. That is it right there. You know, it's kind of a smaller bore gun. But this dude is 1250. That's the full price. Half price, this thing is going to run you about 700 because they're going to charge you 300. They're going to charge you about 300 for the garage slot. So it'll be fifteen fifty. Half of that, it's going to be about eight hundred gold. Man, that is a bargain. I'm telling you, if you have eight hundred gold, jackpot on that tank. It is a very good um, long haul type of tank. Fun tank to play, and that's the key. It's a fun tank. Well, the last one, man, this is another awesome tank. The French. Tier 8 Heavy Metal Heroes, AMX, M4, and I don't know what that French abbreviation is, dot .49. This was another tank of the month. So the problem is, it's really good, and this is going to run 7,000, you know, maybe about 71 or 7,200, because this dude is expensive. I have this tank. It was a tank of the month. Got it for dirt. It's one of those things. Always check tank of the month. Because sometimes they have expensive ones like this dude. This dude is expensive. Watch this. Ta-da! 14,840 gold. This dude is going to run you 300, eh, 75, 7,600 gold. You know, the bargain of bargain times is gone. That was tank of the month. Now, now it's going to be the next bargain, about 75 or 7,600 for this dude. So three killer bargain deals, but the first two are just you can't miss. These are the uh, these are the current contracts. Slapjack, I'm finishing that probably today because I'm running my daily doubles and I am down to like fifty something, sixty thousand left. No problems. I might I might just you know take a break and do it tomorrow. It doesn't matter. I got long hauls to work on anyway. So for the time being, I've been doing long haul contract long hauls, working on my contract, picking up long haul contributions. You know, uh, I got a, you know some uh, some second places, some fourths, some sevens. You know, just making progress. Nothing special. Centrifuge. That's my next contract. It'll be an easy one, man. That Japanese tank tier five is going to help on this guy. So if you're not an you know high level tank guy like I have you know tens and above right if you don't have that you don't have a lot of premium tanks this is where that Japanese tier 5 premium tank is going to come in like a superstar the centrifuge contract it would help you crush that easily and help set you up you know give you an extra free tank the centrifuge and then the Eagle 7 this one's a, this is a toughie in the context that this is a great tank to get if you have the tanks that are required to progress through this contract. I have this tank. It is a very good tier 7. In fact, I, it's a butt kicking tier 7 medium to me. You know, when I first got it, I go, I never heard of this tank. <laughs> yeah, garbage, whatever. I just, you know, I was like in my stash and I'm like, well, I was working on whatever contract came up. Um, probably the jammer. And I was like, well, you know, I got this. Let me just outfit this and play this. And like, oh my, this is freaking awesome. The so Eagle 7, if you can, if you have the wherewithal to that with the tanks to, to do it, I would recommend you get this tank. This is another premium tank. It has, you know, really good silver bonus. So this will help. This Eagle 7 is a very, very helpful tank, useful, and then some. I've been using it on 
the Slapjack contract. I used it on the Big Top. I used it on the Talon as well. So those mediums, I mean, in Tier 7 medium, man, it's free. You got to have it. Just that simple. You're not going to get another Tier 7 medium that's this good for free, except the Talon, but that, that contract is gone. So my recommendation to you is if you haven't done contracts or don't have one that you're working on, get the centrifuge. This one's a much easier contract. Knock this out in a week or so, maybe less. And then when the centrifuge is done, if you have the wherewithal to do to a, attempt the Eagle and be able to finish everything, that's what I would go for is the Eagle. That is an awesome tank. The machine, that's a tier 10. You can do this if you use what do you call it? Um, Cold War tanks. Because you got to have tens to do the machine. So you're going to need Cold War tanks if you don't have tens because you, you know, whatever. Same thing. You can use Cold War tanks on the Eagle. So once again, all the basic Cold War tanks, if you have not played Cold War, they're free. It's only going to cost you money to add equipment and it's going to cost you like $2 million. So, you'll, you know, you make a ton of money in Cold War. To pay for the equipment that you're going to get. You're going to get destroyed in the beginning. Just giving you the heads up. Tough it out for a week. And it'll be gravy from then on. So that'll help you. This is the. What? Polish? Czechoslovakian. Czechoslovakian tank destroyer. Really good tank destroyer. If you're interested. Okay, fine. You know, I'm not interested. But that's just me. I have better things that I could spend money on than 10,000, 12,000 gold on this uh, Czechoslovakian tank destroyer. But if you already have those things that you feel like you want it, I mean, it's cool. It's a good tank. I've seen it in action. Very good tank. Chieftain Hybrid 120. I got this tank. It's really good. I used it in my contract progress. Heavy tank, longer range capabilities than other heavy tanks in general so that's its main strength i have videos on that i'll explain it if, to see if you think you need it i would recommend checking out this hybrid 120 versus that uh czechoslovakian tank destroyer that's just my personal opinion you might want that tank destroyer more and you know more power to you long haul my buddy long haul if you don't know about it I'll explain it to you one more time quickly. You need 75 qualifications. You qualify by being top seven on your team, win or lose, in any match. So you get 75 of those. You can randomly get one of these three cards. Anything can be in there. Each card has a 10% chance of giving you a free tank. I have gotten free tanks from each one of these colored cards. So there's no such thing as bad gold. So the blues will give you guaranteed 150 or more. Blacks guaranteed 275 or more. Reds guaranteed 425 or more. And the or more includes things like card in a card, 5% chance of that. Free tank, 10% chance of that. Anything else? Well, there you go. So these I call tank lottery cards. So you play the long hauls. Get your tank lottery card, A, and then you open it. It costs you nothing. So you open your card, you get gold, you get whatever else comes in there. How can you go wrong? This is what we do. They give you, you give you the opportunity to earn two of these every week. So in the month of January, that's four weeks times two. That's eight cards. Speaks for itself. You know, you don't find anything that you need. Save the gold. Come back next week. So that's why I, you know, I had the I had the gold to spare to buy that Japanese tank, and so I bought that dude nine twenty five, no problem. That's like, you know, three. It's like three hundred, three hundred, three hundred. It's like, well, it's twenty five gold more than three weeks three weeks worth of long hauls if they're the worst cards, and usually you're gonna get better cards here and there just you keep do you keep going you get the minimum you get the minimum you get the minimum bang you get a non-minimum you know 
and then you get the minimum, you get the minimum, you get the minimum, bang, you get the card and a card. Same story, bang, you get a free tank. If you don't want free gold and you don't want free tanks, don't do your long haul missions. It's no big deal. It's free gold and free tanks for us, man. We're, we're, we're big believers. So we're going to give you a quick rundown through the store. This is the Escalation Scouts I was telling you about. Right there in the Cold War tanks. There's that Czechoslovakian tank destroyer weekly deal. Ragnarok T-34-100. That's the, let's take a look, look at this guy. This is the Czechoslovakian customization. Looks pretty cool. You got this, uh, I would say, would you call this, it's like a tattoo. I don't know if you call it like that. It's just got that red paint on there. So it's not really a tattoo. You know, I was thinking it was like Drax. You know, that looks kind of cool. One of those things. If this is of interest, it could be really awesome. That's a decent, that's a, that's a fair tier eight for, you know, under 5,000 gold. Pretty good. Three round auto loader. Always nice. Let's go back and look at this again, man. Reload time, 30 seconds. We'll knock that down to probably about 24 in general. 75% silver bonus. That is nasty. There you go. That is a freaking money maker and a half. Wow. Tier 8. The only the only complaint one could make about this tank is that as a tier 8, you're going to be shoved in tier 10 matches. But that 75% bonus is awesome. The thing is, the thing that's important about these kind of tanks is if this is the kind of tank you like to run, you know, this medium tank with that auto loader, it could be really, really awesome. But it's going to be a, a you know personal choice. Personally, I like to steer away from those tier eights. Get too many tier ten matches. They're just not that fun in general. And this is the sharpshooters, the small tourm. And the Skoda T40. All right. Special deals. Well, what is that? Oh, these are the... These are the... Skins that you can get for different tanks. This is the big pack where you get five different... Skins. But these are for high-end tanks. Tier 10s. And, uh, etc. Not for the normal players, okay? The deals are terrific if you're planning on going and getting those tier tens. It's a long, you know, long road, but oh, this is ten of each. Yeah, normally you have this twenty of one or twenty of the other. That's ten of each. That is actually this is the same price, okay? This is this is the same price that they offer these 20 of each for 850, all right? But you can get 10 of one and 10 of the other. Man, that's that's actually a pretty good offer right there. I bought those myself. This is a good offer because you get some of each. Usually it's one or the other. And you need one and you don't need the other like ah, you know, or you're looking you're looking for the one that they don't have for sale. It's killing you. But to have 10 of each, ooh, that's a good deal. So that's something to be you know, aware of. Okay, I always have to mention this. Don't ever buy Raise the Trophy. That's not a good deal. Now, my Game Pass has expired. So this three-pack here, Unyielding Assault, shows the regular price is $48.99. But if you get one-month trial of, of Game Pass, BAMO, it's free if you don't already have it. Most of you already have it, though. Tank of the Month. There it is. I mentioned it earlier. Falcon T92. A butt-kicking tank. 
So that covers all of that business. This tank might be the highlight due to the high silver bonus and the high tank XP bonus, especially when you combine it with the centrifuge contract. In fact, let's go take a look at the centrifuge contract. All right, centrifuge. What do we have here? This one, tier three and above, anything. But it's a medium, so let's look at the mediums. Again, tier, tier three and above. Oh, okay, this one is tank destroyer. They throw in these. These are actually pretty easy. They're, you can get a tier three tank destroyer and solve all these problems easily. Or artillery as well if you're into artillery. If not, tank destroyer is the best way to go. Again, back to medium tanks. Any medium tanks qualify. Jackpot. Multiplayer. Medium tanks only three and above. Well, there you go. That Japanese tank kicks butt here. Again, medium four and above. Once again, Japanese tank kicks butt. Now, this one is always important. You notice at the very bottom, three days of free premium. So, they just basically give this away. Again, medium, and this time also heavies of all levels. So, on those heavy tanks, if you decided to buy the bargain that's upcoming, which is that Panzer B2, you have a one-two punch. If you bought that Japanese medium five and that German uh, four heavy, terrific. Make it easy. Seven. That is medium and heavy. Once again, both of those qualify any tank. And at the very tough, at the bottom, I mean the last one, tier five. So you're going to need tier five medium or tier five heavy. Again, the Japanese tank. This is where the Japanese tank comes in to its full power. Oh, 86,000 experience in any number of battles. Not too bad. So that's the thing. Centrifuge. If you buy that Japanese tank that I have right here, 925 gold, the centrifuge is a, just a giveaway. They're just giving you that tank for nothing. Because this tank is just tailor-made to run that operation. Because remember, this tank, let's go look at this again. Look here at the bottom. You're going to make 50% extra silver in this tank, which is fantastic. But that tank XP bonus, that qualifies on that stage 8, where it was 86,000. So basically, every time you make 1,000 points of tank experience, well, it's going to be 1,000. 450. That's the bonus. So you're gaining almost a 50% bonus on your tank experience. Now, there are other tanks that have this as well. But uh, we shouldn't go into that. I'll tell you what they are. You can look at your for yourself. It's the Ram 2. That's a premium tank. The Churchill 3 is another premium tank. Uh, tier 5. Ram 2 is a Tier 5. And there is something else comes to mind. Well, I can't remember what it is. Doesn't matter. Those two are fine. They're just like this guy. Oh, it's the T14 Heavy, another premium tank. That's what it was. So those, this is one of those tanks that's got high silver and high tank experience. So that's what's new for Tuesday. So I hope this really helped you out because there's a lot of good information here. Like I said, I would say the takeaway is that if you didn't recognize this already, this Japanese tank is just going to basically give you the centrifuge contract inside of a week. Three or four days, depending on your ability. The, the final stage will take a while, so you know you might want to just take, it'll take about a week. If you just don't, don't rush it. Don't press yourself. Don't make it unfun. The point of doing a contract is that, well, let me show you my contract. The point of doing the contract is do the contract along with the things you're doing elsewhere. So now for myself, I'm finishing off stage eight, which is 291,000 experience, tank as tank XP, all right? So I'm not killing myself. What I'm doing is is I was running, I'll show you, let me show you this, in fact you can see it right here, these are 
Let me get rid of this Japanese tank. All right. All right. Now you see all these these gold boxes. The red stripe at the very top of the tab for each tank is gone. I've already done it. Now here's one. I haven't used. I, oh, I'm sorry. I have used this paladin. I just didn't get a victory. Once you get the victory, you're going to get plus 100% experience. Jackpot! That's what that's what makes it a breeze. Look at all the tanks that I did. I'm still going, obviously, but I'm just giving you an idea. There's there's some other ones. I'm good with the hammer that worked. Tiger 131, awesome. Icebreaker, man, I had a great game in this. I made a video of it, phenomenal. So this is the key. Same thing. This is that expensive French tank I showed you, the, the HMH AMX M449. Had a killer game in this. Got my double bonus. So just stuff like that. Don't don't make it unfun. If you're going to do the, do any contract, do it, but make it fun. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, especially if you're new. Tell your friends about it. Maybe this will help them. I got other things that will help them. Check out my other videos, tanks and operations, etc. And I do that every week. So it was great to have you here. I'll see you guys later. Thanks again.